Okay, just showing the insides of the of my PS Audio Digital Link 3 DAC. This is the deck that I use for my uh, um, home theater system for the Blu-ray player connected through the coax digital input and then the RCA outs go into my main stereo system and I'm showing the inside because I'm going to do a capacitor upgrade on it so these are the original filter capacitors for the power supply I'm going to change them all so these are 12 millifarad capacitors 35 volt rated I'm going to change them for 50 volt rated uh, Panasonic Epcos capacitors and bypass them with the uh, Elna steel mix and uh, let's see unfortunately the, the the board side has a tons of SMDs so it's it's really hard to uh, work on that at least for me because uh, my i am not really prepared for doing uh, such minute work and my eyesight is not very uh, amenable for such a task so for now i'm going to leave those as they are not worrying too much but could also do like change the diodes upgrade them to uh, fresh diodes it seems that if they are ultra fast diodes you have something i have to be able to see which diodes they are and uh, what else do we see here so here this is the IAC inlet and you see the ground is directly grounded to the chassis and um, and there's like that uh, ground tab there and from the ground tab there's uh, two wires running to the top of the chassis one is the top of the chassis the other to the front of the faceplate and then from here we have one running somewhere under the board we don't see where and there's one more which is that green line and that goes to the transformer so that's how that's probably a screen for the transformer inside and now this big bundle the rest of it so there's one which is not connected the green that's the uh, ground and and these four wires the brown uh what else do we have here brown white gray and there should be a black yes there's a black so those are the primary uh wires which run from here from the there's the isc jack and we have a little circuit board with a fuse on it and and also the switch is part of it so the switch is connected to the board through these two wires here these black black heat shrinked wires they go on the other side and there's this little protection to protect the chassis i mean protect this high voltage element so they don't actually touch anything else and there's that uh, fast connector and there's this strong heat shrink so and i'm going to ditch all of that so i'm going to remove this connector and just also like cut off these wires and and use some uh, high quality wire to hook up the transformer and um, the same thing goes here so this is the input of the transformer and that's here is the output so the low voltage comes here and that's the only thing that is fed to the board might be plus minus 9 volts something like that i don't know i have never checked never measured it probably that's what they are and then from here you see there are those diodes that are doing the rectification there and it too looks like we have We might have uh, four different uh, supplies that are supplied by the by this input. So I suspect that we have uh, four uh, supplies or maybe two. I don't know how it is. I haven't seen the underside of the board. 
and I don't have the schematics for this amp um, I'm just thinking about four maybe because it also has balanced outputs um, let's see and there are these four power transistors I think they not sure what they do but they are lined up one with each of these uh, filter capacitors for the power supply and then what else do we have here so here this is the input output side so we have in the center this is the digital input I'm going to change that RCA jack into another one because this is already a bit finicky so sometimes if, if I if I move it a little bit or just uh, try to uh, wiggle it then uh, it cuts out so there, there's some sort of uh, uh, connection issue inside same thing with these uh, these RCA jacks I'm going to just ditch those jacks and hardwire the interconnect in onto the board itself so to get rid of the jack get rid of the end of the RCA cable and just hardwire it directly uh, so basically those will be some, a few things that I will be doing probably tonight the only thing I will be doing is just changing these supply capacitors and then see uh, and also add the ELNAS for bypass. The ELNAS will be probably, I will have to figure out where I place them. Probably they will be just sitting here and, and hooked up from the underside. And what else? I'm seeing something. Does that look? I'm not sure. But it looks as if there's some leakage there. I might need some better lights to see. Now you can see there as well. So there's some something black, black goo. It's almost like a capacitor is leaking there and creating a mess. So that little fellow might be in trouble. So I better check it out with some uh, magnifier and look if there's a, a trouble there because we don't want to have that go out of control and um, yep so I, I might have just to look at those uh, little capacitors there and change them I'm not looking forward to do that because uh, they are just so tiny and uh, yep that's about it there's a lot more things that can be done and uh, but this is right now just to document the insides how it looked like before I touch it before I do anything about it and the other thing that I will do is just get rid of this uh, metal plate and this uh, metal screw that holds it down I use something which is non-magnetic and uh, just use some wooden shims to hold it so that the, the mechanical resonances of the transformer are not given to the chassis but there's there's a wood a dampening and isolation that protects and uh, um, gives a better mechanical dampening for that power transformer so that's it for today